um, the final piece for this, uh, yeah, the final one in this um, section is called What the Waves Thought. Schlack. The first wave brought me a handful of shells, red and ribbed. Schlack came the second wave, and the water thinned out and left me a clutch of feathers and a wooden oar. Schlack! The third wave simply drenched me. It almost took my hope away. But the fourth wave brought it back. Gold coins and a little silver dollar. The fifth wave was like thunder, and it brought a mask, and the mask rose and smiled with its mud-brown teeth. Thank you for welcoming me, it said. It is the way, I replied formally. Yes, it is. Still, it's nice to be expected. My mother told me to come. Hmm. So here I am. The feathers fluttered up and formed a bird's neck around the mask. They all slipped in under the plumage like a solitary arm. I'm to give you your purpose then. That's what the elders told me to expect. Hmm. The shells laddered themselves into a vertebral column and floated gracefully. Hmm, repeated the mask. And though the teeth were still smiling, the voice wasn't. The coins flipped into my right hand, the dagger into the left. There, growled the mask. Choose. Money or war? Is that my choice? Bit limited, isn't it? <laughs> the mask puffed out its plumage and laughed. The money and dagger were flung exquisitely into the sea. Come here, said the mask. I took one watery step towards it. Come here, insisted the mask. Another step and the mud was up to my knees. Here. And the mask was on me and I was shouting. And I remember my mother's voice saying, whatever you do, don't anger the ancestors. And at the time I thought, there were no ancestors, only us, only the present. The mask buckled down on my face and we slipped under the water and I breathed. And I breathe.